Hello, electric pig. I'm Stephen Fry, and this is my guide to 3D TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Gosh, the tip of my spear looks like it's coming right through the screen, doesn't it? As if you could just reach out and, and give it a tweak. Only you can't, can you? Mainly because you're watching this in 2D. Now, early attempts at 3D television were frankly unconvincing, and you had to wear these rather unsavory cardboard spectacles. But bless the bottoms of technology, that's all changed. 3D TV is no longer a gimmick, and it's poised to revolutionize the way we enjoy our entertainment. There's far more to it than a man throwing something at the camera. So, you're probably asking, what is 3D TV and will it make Grandma's eyes pop out? Well, you've probably seen 3D films in the cinema. That same technology is now being incorporated into televisions. So now you can watch images spring to life in the comfort of your own home. Whoa! <laughs> it's, not, it's not actually turned on. Now, filming in 3D requires two cameras. Both capture the same image, one for the left eye, one for the right eye. Using a rather wonderful bit of digital trickery, both pictures are processed to create a single 3D image, which can only be viewed using special glasses. <laughs> now, these 3D specs are leaps and, dare I say, bounds ahead of the red and green glasses of old. You could wear these all day, and seeing as many come with UV protection, the fashionistas amongst you might just do that. Well, there are two types of 3D TV. Passive, or as I like to call them, passive, are used in conjunction with these glasses, the sort you probably stole when they first appeared in cinemas, didn't you, you scamps? Then there are active TVs, where the difference is that it's the glasses themselves that do the decoding. They cost a little more, so do be careful with them. Anyway, both show the same glorious 3D images as well as HD, so it's simply a matter of personal taste. This isn't a format war like VHS versus Betamax or, or teacup versus mug. <laughs> what the... I'm not drinking this. It's flat. So what are you going to watch? Well, there are 3D Blu-rays and console games waiting to burst out of your screens, and Sky's dedicated 3D channel, the first in the UK indeed, showing movies, sporting events, and lots more wonderful stuff. Now, this channel is a, uh, available to anyone with an existing Sky Plus HD box and a 3D television, and that means the same recording and live pausing shenanigans as any other channel. Oh, happy, happy days. So, who are we to thank for this incredible leap forward in entertainment? Well, believe it or not, it's me. Yes, that's right. I, Stephen Fry, invented 3D television. Wait a minute. I'm from Sky. We've worked for years on 3D technology. It's not your invention. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I invented 3D television. And I invented the peephole for the modern day underpant. An invention that is daily saving lives. Now tell everybody that I invented 3D television. Stephen Fry invented 3D television. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 3D TV is finally with us. And it's all thanks to Mr. Stephen Fry. I do hope you'll join me. You didn't invent it. Excuse me, what does that say? You made it out of some cars. Stephen Fry's. Does it say Sky TV's? No, Stephen Fry's, you imbecile. No need to be rude. Yes, there is, actually. Sometimes rudeness is the only response that makes sense. Rudeness and biting. <laughs>